Well, welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at the second part to how to multiply polynomials. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to make sure that you watch that first part because the first part gives a really nice uh, introduction as far as how to multiply polynomials using algebra tiles. But like I said at the end of that video, it's not always um, a great method to, be, to, to use all the time, uh, only because you're not always going to have the tiles available, and sometimes you just want to be able to get the answer without having to rearrange them all. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how to do this without the tiles. So you're going to want to take some really good notes because you're going to want to have a tool that you can go back to when you're doing your homework over the next couple of days uh, to have something to reference back to so you don't have to go back and watch this video because who wants to hear from me that much? So anyhow, what I want you to do in this video for your notes is I want you to get out a piece of paper and in the center of the paper, I want you to draw a box. And in that box, I want, I want you to write down the words multiplying polynomials. And then I want you to take your sheet and break it up into four squares, like I'm showing here on my screen. And in that first square, I want you to write down example one. And then in the next square, example two. And guess what's going to go in the next two? Example three and example four. So we're going to be doing four examples. And in each of these are going to be slightly different. And so these will give you some a nice one-page uh, tool to look at in reference to later on. Now, looking at this first example, there's a couple of different ways that we could write out multiplying polynomials. Now, the one on the right here is going to be the one that you're going to see more frequently when you get into algebra and, and algebra 2. And, and that's the more common way to write that we're multiplying two binomials. I know Mr. Demi does it in that, uh, showing us in that far left way, doing it vertically. But you're not going to see that very often. So I'm going to specifically show you in this video how to do it when it's written horizontally. There's nothing wrong with the way that Mr. Demi shows you, but for some people, this might be a little bit easier. So how are we going to do that? Well, the first thing I want you to do is that I want you, and this is still in that one box, for example, one. I want you to draw this square. It's going to be a two by two square, two by two grid. So go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put on the outside, we're going to put the factors. Now, just like with the tiles, it doesn't matter where we put the factors. We can put the 2x plus 3 on the top, or we can put the 2x plus 3 on the side. It doesn't matter. So if you recognize, basically what we're doing is we're kind of doing what we did with the algebra tiles, but we're just using numbers instead. So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these together. It's almost like a multiplication table where we're going to multiply the 2x times x. Now 2x times x is 2x squared. And we're going to put that in the top left corner there. And then we're going to go continue to multiply across. So now we're going to take and multiply x times 3. And x times 3 would just be 3x. Now we're done with the top row. We're going to go to the bottom row. So now we're going to take the 7 times the 2x that's on top. And 7 times 2x would be 14x. And 7 times 3 would be 21. Now if you remember from the algebra tiles, we always had the um, x squared was in the top left corner. Then we would have next to the x squared, we would have the x's. And then in the bottom left, or I'm sorry, the bottom right corner is where we'd have those single unit uh, squares. And that's what's happened here. It's just that we're using numbers instead. It is so simple. So our answer, now we're just going to combine like terms to get our answer. Our answer would be 2x squared. And then the like terms are going to be diagonally across from each other. So they're really easy to find. And that's the 3x or the 14x would add together to be 17x. And then we would have 21. So your answer is 2x squared plus 17x plus 21. See how simple that was? Let's try another one. So in the example 2 box, I want you to write this down. x plus 4 times x plus 7. And just like before, we're going to start by drawing a grid. So the way that we're going to set up this grid is, again, it's, it's two terms times two terms. So we're going to have a two by two grid. You could get into some really upper level algebra by simply making this box. Like we could have three terms times three terms. We'd have a three by three grid. And it doesn't have to be that complicated. It's super simple when you use this, what I call the box method. Okay, so like I said before, it doesn't matter where we put the x plus 4 and the x plus 7. So let's say this time we put the x plus 4 on the side and the x plus 7 on the top. So let's multiply these together. x times x would be x squared. And then we would have x times 7. That would be 7x. Then let's go to the bottom row. We're going to have 4 times x would be 4x and 4 times 7 would be 28. Now look for your like terms. Again, they're diagonally across from each other. so easy to find. So we're going to have x squared, 4x and 7x combined to be, or add up to be 11x. And we have a plus 28. See, that's it. 
That's how simple it can be. So I want you guys to try this one on your own. So in the example three box, I want you to write down x plus four times two x plus five. So just like you would have done in the last video, I want you to pause the video, and then I want you to hit play when you're ready to check to see if you have the correct answer. Ready, pause, now. All right, so hopefully you've had a chance to try that one now on your own. So let's see how you did. Hopefully you got two x squared plus 13 x plus 20. And you'd get that by again, multiplying the x plus four and two x plus five. You can put those either in either spot. And hopefully you got, so check your answers in the box. Make sure you got those same answers inside the box. And if you made a mistake, maybe with five x and eight x, maybe you added those up wrong, but hopefully you got two x squared plus 13 x plus 20. Let's do one more example. Now this one's gonna be a little different. Here we have two x times x plus three. So we have just a single term times a binomial, x plus three. Now the cool thing about math is there's no one way you have to do it. That's why I'm showing you this video is because maybe you don't want to do it the way that Mr. Demi did. Maybe you want another alternative. So even with this one, there's an alternative to even using this box method. Remember the distributive property. We could distribute the 2x times the x plus 3. So 2x times x would be 2x squared and 2x times 3 would be 6x. Bam! You got your answer. Or we could use the box method, but this time the 2x is just one term. So instead of having a two by two grid, we would have a one by two grid. And so we'd put the two x on one side and the, and the x plus three on the side that would have the two squares. And then we just multiply those together. So two x times x would be two x squared and the two x times three would be six x, giving you the same answer, two x squared plus six x. That's it. That's all there is to the lesson. So. Now you know how to do this with both algebra tiles and without algebra tiles. So I think you will have no problem whatsoever now as you work on your homework this week. But remember, you have your notes to look back at if you ever forget, or you could always come back and watch these videos if you want to see how to do it step by step. So good luck now as you work on these problems this week.